Hello students, my name is Jesse George, your professional accounting lecturer. All right. In this video, we are going to continue the, uh, with the learning curve theory and this make the video to be part 3 of the video, okay, concerning learning curve. All right, now let's get started. Okay, uh, in the last two videos, we develop a formula. And that formula is y equals to a x raised to power b, where y is the average, cumulative average time taken or costs consumed for producing, uh, for producing one unit in a cumulative unit. Supposing you have, for example, in a unit. Let's say you produce one, two, three, four, five. So what is the average time taken for producing the first unit? Supposing it is the first unit. So each unit has taken Y time. Each unit has consumed Y cost. Okay? Each unit it has consumed Y cost. Okay? So if you want to know the total cost, once you find the value of Y, just multiply by the cumulative units in that production setting all right now a supposing this is the first unit a is assumed to be the time taken by the first unit or the cost consumed for producing the first unit so a that is a represents that value all right then x what is x that is the cumulative units which is one two three four five then b represents the index of the learning rates, the index of the learning experience, all right? And that B, let me start with that, we give you log learning rates all over log 2. So take note of this formula, all right? Now, let me bring a question now to apply it, okay? Look at this question. I want you to pause the video and read through the question. Yeah, I believe you've done that. Now, let me quickly explain. This question tells us about, it requires that, uh, rather, we should calculate the expected average unit cost. Expected, take note of that. Expected average unit cost of making one machine, two machines, four machines, and eight machines. So from that our formula, our Y, all right, our y will represent the time taken. Like in this unit now, we only have cumulative of one. What is the time taken for producing one machine? In these two machines, each of this machine has consumed y time. All right, that's what that's the meaning. What is the time? Then what is the cost? The total cost of producing these two machines. That's what we're about to look for. Then our a will represent one two the first. Machine produced as consumed A time. All right. Then all these figures X, uh, 8, 4, 2, 1 represent X, 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 X. Okay. Then I've explained the value of B, which is log of the learning rates, then log 2. Then we are told that our direct labor cost is 15 naira per hour. In this case, our learning rate here is 90%. Then the direct labor needed to make the first machine is, and that is 1,000 hours, and that is represented by the A from the calculation. Then our direct material cost, of course, is 150. Then our fixed cost is what 60. So let's get started. Now let's start with A. All right. Now A, the first thing to look for is the value of Y. All right, and is given to be this. That is the cumulative average time taken. That's the first thing you calculate by the first uh, cumulative average time taken. Okay, for cumulative of one for first machine. Okay which is given as y equals to a x raised to power b. All right, let's calculate our b. 
Our A in that question is 1,000 hours. Okay. Our X in this case is 1. Then our B is log the learning rates all over log 2. And this will give you log is 0 0.9 all over log 2. Now you pick up your calculator. Now your calculator you press log 0 0.9 divided by log 2 and that gives 0 minus 0 0.152 so our b now that the index is minus 0 0.152 okay now let us apply the formula so our y now will be 1000 multiply by 1 raised to power minus 0 0.152 so now press this is the answer there then you now press 1 raised to power answer and that gives 1 all right of course so our y equals to 1000 multiplied by 1 which is 1000 hours so it means the average cumulative cumulative time that is cumulative average time is 1000 hours all right now our costs of making machine making one machine will be direct material and what is the direct material from the question that is 150000 which is given multiply by 1 okay which is 150000 then our direct labor is 15 naira you have been given from the question that is 15 naira per hour okay 15 naira 15 naira multiplied by how many hours that is 1000 hours because we produce one machine are you with me now and that is 15000 naira okay then our fixed cost is 60 from the question 60000 so when you add all this if you add all this we have uh 150000 plus 15 plus 60 and that is one okay sorry plus 60 that's 150000 plus 15 plus 60 and that is 225 so we have our total cost is 225 all right now let's quickly look at for the b part it says that we should calculate for two machines two machines okay so for the b parts like i said we are asked to calculate uh for two machines all right so let's find the y value and which represents you know when you produce two what is the average time for each machine okay the average time consumed or taken for each machine average for one in these two then we now multiply by two okay so we first find this the first machine assumed to take one thousand hours of cumulative of 2 raised to power the index which is minus 0 0.15 raised to power 2 okay so we have y equals to 1000 then when you find the value of this using your calculator all right so you have uh uh 2 raised to power minus 0 0.152 and that gives 0 0.9 okay so that is gives 0 0.9 all right so when you multiply this gives 900 hours 900 hours all right therefore for time taking for total time taking total time taking for two machines will be 2 multiplied by 900 hours, alright? So, 
what is the cost of making cost of making the two machines will now be direct material which is 150,000 multiplied by 2 and that gives you 300,000 then direct labor is 15 naira times the two machines so 2 multiplied by 900 hours will give you 180 uh, 1800 okay which is 1800 hours so and this will give you uh 15 from our calculator we have 15 times 180 18 and that is 27000 that is 27000 then our our fixed cost is constant which is 60000 so when you add this together so we have a uh, from our calculator we have 300 plus uh, 27000 plus 60 and that is 3 Eight seven thousand. Okay, so I'm going to give you assignments, and your assignment is to calculate for four machines and eight machines, and feed me back. So if you understand this concept with this very simple question, please do share with your friends. Then you can meet me in the class for further advanced questions. All right. Thanks for watching. I remain your lecturer, Shesi George. Bye for now.